Now, I noticed that uh, the Nuclear Energy Institute has stepped up a whole lot of advertising again. And have you noticed that in, in various magazines and everything, the full-page ads, the full-page cover, back cover ads from the Nuclear Energy Institute? And it seems to come at the same time as the uh, two nuclear power plants were reopened in Japan mm -hmm. yes. very quietly. Did we know? Did we all notice that that uh, there was hardly any kind of press, they doubled, media press? They doubled their advertising budget after uh, this year. And so the, the, in 2012, uh, in response to the accident last year, the, um, the their budget went from uh, their advertising budget doubled. Um, they're now on uh, the John Stewart Show. Uh, has accepted NEI as a uh, as a sponsor. We think that's horrible, and and we've stopped watching John Stewart as long as that's going on. And he was like our favorite commentator, you know. Yeah. And, and the ads are factually wrong. They're clever, but they're factually wrong. And yet they uh, they are making it into mainstream media. Um, NEI, uh, the charter of NEI. If you go up on the web. Their charter is uh, not a neutral charter, but it's to promote nuclear power, um, and um, and they're very effective. When you have you know tens, if not hundreds, of millions of dollars to spend on advertising, uh, they're very effective. They're on NPR. They're sponsoring um, the um, the commercial show, the the, the the show about commerce. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name right now. Mar um, Market Watch. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm, Something like that. Something like. Oh, no yeah. wonder then. Yeah. When uh, I, I had asked NPR to have uh, Dr. Helen Caldicott, who wrote "Nuclear Power Is Not the Answer," mm -hmm. to be interviewed on NPR when she was here a few years ago, there was no response for Dr. Helen, Helen Caldicott, who wrote this book, "Nuclear Power Is Not the Answer." They, uh, they are uh, Nuclear Energy Institute. Their blog has spent an inordinate amount of time attacking us. Uh, with factually wrong things, and they raised some really critical questions in um, was it April? A yeah, about yeah, about, <clears throat> about us and about the uh, fair winds, and so uh, they said they wanted Arnie to respond, and he doesn't respond to any of that. He doesn't own the company I do, and I responded to them, and they said they were going to print the response, but they didn't. Um, uh, several uh, stations. Uh, David Graham, who's an AP reporter here in Vermont, had done an incredible piece of coverage, and they went after him. And AP stood behind him and stood behind his story. And they said they would print whatever. NEI said they would, they attacked David viciously, and they said in their blog they would print whatever AP's response was. But they never did. The, you know, it's just an, a vicious attack dog. So we actually wrote back to NEI and 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 they, I did, yeah. yeah, Maggie did, and uh, and they never printed our response despite the fact that they said they were going to. So it's just, um, um, yeah, they're when you know they they can't argue the facts, so instead they they result on character assassination. Um, Attempted, yeah. And and it hasn't just been Fukushima that happened to be Fukushima about Daiichi. Fukushima Daiichi, but it's also about work I'm doing out in California. Um, it, it, it's interesting. They attacked an expert report I wrote, and the headline was another shoddy report. Um, and well, in fact, San Onofre. San yes. Onofre. This is a San Onofre out in yeah. California. And in fact, everything I said in that report was proven to be true by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Now, will they retract their their uh, their personal attack on me? No, because uh, it it is uh, about uh, destroying people's character. And it's not just um, uh, civilians. They've attacked the chairman of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and, and basically got him to, uh, forced him to resign. Yes, um, step Nothing down. can stop the... As we uh, discussed the last time yes, we were on yes. the show. It, the, his name is ja Jaxo? Jasko. Jasko. Chairman yes. Jasko was forced. Nuclear Energy Institute lobbied very hard, along with several of the commissioners that they have endorsed to get him, to force him out because he was trying to regulate the industry, as it should be regulated. 